Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Arturo. I'm with Next Year Academy. In today's episode, I'm going to explain a few things here revolving your timing belt. So I've been asked a few times already, like, hey, how do you know when a timing belt is bad? Do you really have to replace it by mileage? What happens if I don't replace my timing belt? Okay. So let's start off with the first question. How do you know if it's bad? Well, it's kind of hard to tell uh, because it is behind a timing cover. So typically, a lot of people confuse a timing belt with the serpentine belt. So the serpentine belt goes on the front or side of the engine and you can see the belt, um, you know, pop your hood open and it'll be right there. Okay. Your timing belt sits behind a cover that's actually behind that belt. Not all cars have timing belts. Some cars actually have timing chains. So you have to refer to your owner's manual, um, you know, or go online and figure out if your car has a timing chain uh, or a timing belt. Okay. So again, it's hard to tell. Um, unless you take that cover off. And if you're gonna go through all that trouble, you might as well replace it. There's some vehicles that the cover isn't very hard to replace. It's actually a secondary cover. Uh, I believe Hondas are the ones that mainly have that. Overall though, like I said, it's, it's very hard to just pop the hood open and see if the belt is bad or not, okay? Number two, um, do you, is replacing it by mileage a good idea? Yeah, absolutely. You know, cause again, if you go back to number one, you can't tell if the belt is good or bad just by looking at it. Cause it's not, very visible that way um so replacing it by mileage is the best route okay so don't wait till you start hearing a flap or something like that behind that cover because uh, by that time it could be too late that brings me up to number three if the belt breaks while you're driving or, or whatever nine times out of ten you start to bend valves um, and that requires a full, you know, head job with valve replacements. And it goes into many, many things, depending on if you were going pretty quick down the road, um, you know, you could cause uh, just straight engine failure. So don't wait till that happens. Replace that timing belt by mileage. Um, you know, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.